Thank you very much for coming. The Secretary General and the President will make short introductory statements and then we'll have time for a couple of questions. Secretary General. Mr. President, um, it is indeed a great pleasure to welcome you to uh, NATO uh, headquarters. Um, the Czech Republic is a valuable uh, ally. Uh, your contribution uh, to our missions uh, proves uh, your strong uh, commitment, and it shows that even in tough economic times, the Czech Republic can be counted upon. Um, I truly appreciate the courage and professionalism of your troops in Kosovo and uh, in Afghanistan. Uh, they are making a difference. They are helping to train uh, Afghan soldiers and police in Wadak and local provinces and help provide security at Kabul International Airport. Thanks to our shared efforts, Afghanistan is a different country than it was over a decade ago. For the first time, Afghan forces are taking the lead for security across the country, and we are on track to complete our combat mission at the end of next year. At the same time, we are preparing a new non-combat uh, mission to train, advise, and assist uh, the Afghan forces after 2014 so that we cement our hard-fought gains. And I count on the continued support uh, of the Czech Republic. We also discussed uh, your country's active contribution to keeping NATO's capabilities strong um, and our forces connected. At a time when all our nations face tough budgetary choices, multinational cooperation can help us get more value for money and more security for every euro we spend. And by stepping up our training and exercises, we maintain our forces agile and able to deal with any challenges. So I appreciate uh, the efforts made by the Czech Republic to meet its commitment to NATO, to hold the line on defense spending during the crisis, and to invest more uh, in defense as our economies start to recover. This is also important to enable Europe to play its full role uh, in crisis management, as the Czech Republic does, because a strong Europe also means a strong NATO. I thank you for your support. I look forward to continuing to work with you uh, in the busy months to come. Mm -hmm. Mr. President. Uh, Mr. Secretary General, Ladies and gentlemen, I was here in the headquarters of NATO for the first time 15 years ago. And I was a little younger, with no gray hair at all. Yes, but I am uh, no old man, but uh, I fully support uh, NATO as I have supported 15 years ago. This is long-term positive experience, not only of common friendship, but also common cooperation. So, because Mr. Secretary General said practically everything what I wanted to say, so I cannot repeat his words, and that's why you have open space for your question. So we'll go over there. Good afternoon, Andrei Houska for the Czech Radio. Uh, question for the Secretary General. Have you discussed military uh, expenditures in the Czech Republic uh, which are coming down in 
last years maybe have you called on the Czech Republic called upon the Czech Republic to increase the expenditures bearing in mind that we don't respect the agreed limit inside the NATO and for the President Zeman Secretary, Secretary General today said that the military option regarding Syria has to remain on the table do you share this view uh, when we take into account the fact that the Czech Republic uh, refused to sign the joint letter of the European countries on the margins of the G20 summit Thank you. Um, yes, we have discussed um, defense uh, investments, um, and it is a fact uh, that um, the defense budget uh, in the Czech Republic uh, has declined uh, quite significantly during uh, recent years. First of all, let me stress that I understand very well uh, the economic challenges uh, of uh, our Uh, member states. As a politician, I know very well how difficult it is um, when you have to uh, balance your budgets and when you're forced to cut deeply uh, in your budgets across the board, then it's difficult uh, to keep uh, the level uh, of uh, defense uh, investments. But having said that, I have also expressed concerns Uh, about the declining uh, defense budgets, not only in the Czech Republic, but all over uh, our alliance, because the Czech Republic is not alone in this. Uh, it's a general problem. And the problem is that if this trends continue, it will be increasingly difficult to ensure effective protection uh, of uh, our territories. It will be increasingly difficult, in particular for European allies, to participate in international crisis management. And the vacuum Uh, the Europeans leave behind will be filled uh, by emerging uh, powers uh, that invest more and more in defense uh, and security, and eventually that will lead to a declining role of Europe uh, on the international scene. So for these reasons, I have encouraged allies uh, to increase defense spending as the economies recover. I have repeated that message uh, in my meeting with the President uh, today, Um, and I'm also pleased uh, to see uh, that um, um, uh, there is a, a political uh, will uh, in the Czech Republic to reverse the trend uh, and um, start increasing defense investments uh, as the economy recovers. As for Syria, I repeated my public statement that it is necessary to fight against Al-Qaeda in Afghanistan. And there is so doubt concerning uh, the uh, fighting on the side uh, of Al-Qaeda in Syria. All depends what is the share of Al-Qaeda in the Syrian conflict, and nobody knows uh, the exact calculation. Uh, by the way, uh, last week, Mr. Secretary General, I received the new ambassador of the United Kingdom, which told me that the same argument has been used uh, in the discussion in British Parliament, and we know the result and voting in British Parliament. Czech television. Uh, Secretary General, you were praising the professionalism of Czech soldiers in Afghanistan and Kosovo, no doubt about it. However, uh, did you, have you discussed with President Zeman the impact of scandal of the Czech military intelligence agency this year? Uh, its uh, then current and former heads were charged with ordering to spy on former Prime Minister Nechas' estranged wife. This order was made by former Prime Minister Nechas' chief of staff. Um, some security experts in Brussels were suggesting that, that this huge scandal uh, might have an impact on NATO's trust towards the Czech Republic. Have you discussed it? What's your stance on this issue? We didn't discuss uh, those uh, issues um, and um, I have full trust uh, uh, in uh, the Czech Republic um, and its uh, will and ability to live up to obligations within our alliance. Last question over here. Mr. Tomanek from the Czech News Agency. Uh, Mr. Secretary General, have you asked uh, Mr. Zeman to provide some Czech uh, military, CBR and experts to possibly uh, disarm of the chemical weapons in Syria? 
Um, we discussed uh, the Czech capabilities uh, in that area, but we, we haven't discussed uh, the possibility to eventually uh, use them um, uh, in order to implement um, the agreement on elimination uh, of uh, Syrian uh, chemical weapons. Let me stress that I don't foresee a NATO role in that respect, but uh, of course individual allies uh, may be willing to and able uh, to contribute, but I think maybe it's a bit too early um, uh, to discuss that because first of all we need to know uh, what is um, the legal uh, framework and basis and that will very much depend on deliberations uh, in the UN Security Council in, in New York. I hope to see a firm United Nations mandate uh, that can provide the framework for a complete elimination uh, of the Syrian uh, chemical weapons. And uh, when that is in place, I think individual nations will start considerations whether they can contribute to that task. Thank you very much. That concludes our press point. Have a good afternoon.